This is a 396 big block from a 69 Camaro. The condition I'm having is the number seven cylinder here is weak when it's running. You can see right here, it's actually somewhere around 500 degrees. This is what hitters normally should look like. And this is the right bank. And this is the left bank, but it's, it's like an intermittent issue. So I don't know if number seven's bleeding over to number eight or what's going on. This tool right here is pretty cool. It's a thermal imager from Snap-on. the number for it. If I can find it, I'll put a link down below in the description for this tool. So after about a minute of running, it started popping again. So I decided to, had to be something mechanical. So I went ahead and pulled the, I used my lifter pulling tool here and I pulled number seven exhaust lifter out. The lifter is good, it's in good shape. So I knew it must be something in number seven intake. So I got to moving the number seven intake or actually went to pull the lifter out and it was, it was catching, it wasn't coming out. So it stopped about right there. So I ended up pulling the intake off because I'm like, I know that I can see down and see the cam with the intake off. And here's what I see. It's number seven intake lifter. You can see the jagged bottom of the lifter. So for whatever reason, this lifter decided to let go and I can't even pull it up. That's as far as it'll go. And you can also see on the cam, how the cam is wore. See the shiny part on the cam. There's the lifter, and I'll show you in just a second how I got it out. You see how wore out that lifter is. So what it was doing was when the engine was running and it was on the highest part of the lifter, it, it would run okay. It was the temperature in that cylinder was still down a little bit lower, and then it would just go to the flat spot, and then the cylinder would go dead. So what I did was I pulled the lifter up, and then I put these magnets on to hold it. I slid this piece in after I pulled the cam out into the cam tunnel. I already got the new cam in. And then I stuck a magnet in from the front and then pulled the lifter out. And I'll show you what the cam looks like next. There's that cam lobe that's wore down. Big time. So now I'm just gonna go back together with it. New cam, new lifters. And I'm sure it'll run a lot better this time.